Hello guys. So, uh, good morning to the folks joining from US and uh, the folks joining from India. I see quite a few familiar names here. So, hope you all had a great day. So, first of all, thank you, Test Masters, and thank you, Anna, for having me here and giving me the opportunity to speak about my experiences with communities and leadership. Uh, yeah. So. The topic for today, the, the one I'm going to talk about is communities and leadership and how I believe these are, you know, this is, this is our best bet to change the state of testing for better. So, yeah, before we start, a quick introduction about myself. So, myself, Mahesh Chikne, I'm having some eight years of testing experience. I'm currently working as a principal test manager at Zykus and I have experience in multiple types of testing. So there will be functional testing, performance testing, uh, security testing to some extent, uh, have a good knowledge of automation testing as well. And uh, apart from my current uh, professional role at Zykus, I founded this community, the Test Tribe, which is a very special initiative to me in uh, January this year. And we are proudly now India's fastest growing testing community and the largest too. Yeah. Uh, apart from that, I have keen interest in community building, leadership, traveling, and Indian mythology. Yeah, and because I, I'm going to talk a lot about my experience about while while building the test trip community, let, let's know the community a bit better. So I, I founded this community in January this year, as I said before, and I, I'll just take you back, you know, probably a few months before January 2018, like how, how it all started. So technically, I will come to that again, but technically the test drive is not my first community building experience. So knowingly, unknowingly, I, you know, uh, tried out my hands at community building within my organization as well. So we used to call ourselves High Call Scott. Yeah. So those, so I, I, we uh, did a lot of things internally, you know, we were having like 30 to 40 members in our team and we used to meet every Wednesday. We used to do a lot of activities. We used to share knowledge and all. So it still continues even after like five, six years. And while I and, you know, uh, like few of the passionate members from my team, we were just discussing one fine day, like, okay, we are doing a lot of things within our organization when we look out for things from where we can learn okay the meetups in the mumbai city or you know uh, the sessions around testing or something something which which we can get benefited from uh, there wasn't a lot of things you know which which were happening so that's where like i personally waited a lot i waited for years probably that you know things will start and like bangalore is quite quite of a you know uh, you can say uh, very much active place when it comes to community and the events and learning opportunities. Mumbai was passive for a lot of years and that's where we thought, okay, we are doing quite a few things within our organization. Let's try to get, you know, this out to the public. And I'll be very frank, uh, while, while starting, we were just thinking to start something at a city level. We will use some from the Mumbai city together. We'll try to share the knowledge with each other and we meet whenever it is possible. So that's how it all started. And as, as you know, uh, Steve Jobs had said, you, you cannot make the dots. You can only connect them looking backward. So the thing started working out and, you know, you know like we started from Mumbai. We did our first uh, hackathon there. We did our first meetup and Coming back to the present, we have around you know, in our community. So, thousand are in the online community, and other thousand we reached through the offline events. So, we have done around uh, like eighteen to twenty events in multiple cities in online and offline for, uh, forms. So, that includes uh, meetups, hackathons, workshops, and AMA sessions. So currently we are having a presence in multiple cities like Mumbai, Bangalore, Pune. We are soon going to start in Hyderabad and Chennai as well. And that's not all. We will also try to touch soon in, you know, few of the tier two IT cities because the mission we have at the test tribe is to virtually get 
all the testers from across india under community roof so how much we can you know uh, achieve in that it's like the time will tell but yeah that's that's what we are aiming for so the test drive is currently home to you know, thousands of testers where we all can collaborate learn and grow together so there are activities which are happening in the online community and mainly the plus point which i see is you know it is a platform for creating new testing heroes so a lot of people are stepping up to share their knowledge with uh, community and it's honestly it's it's the family we all needed as i said you know i waited for a long time to have something of that sort where i can participate learn from people network with them so as of now when i see at our uh, you know uh, community at each city we have these family to us now. like in every meet up every every event which is happening uh, the, the, we can always see them there right like okay just a second i got a prompt that there's some issue with internet and i can you confirm if it's all right you're good cool cool thanks yeah so this this same you know uh, like selected people who are there in all the meetups we do all the events we do they are always active in the online channel so it's it's kind of a close family now we know each other very well so that how you know this initiative like i, I started with a very uh, small aim to start with but yeah it's something which is very special and very close uh, to all of us now uh moving ahead as i said right my my subject talks about the best bet to change the state of testing so why we need a change at first place okay like there are many reasons we all know those right but let's have a look at the few which troubles me the most personally and probably all of us so i will focus on this uh, you know i I'll, i won't spend a lot of time on this particular slide because we all are aware of the problems right we, we need solutions so if you just have to uh, talk about few you you can say like a lot of testers are are still not able to explain properly the testing they do on the daily basis if you ask them you know why you did what you did a lot of testers are not able to explain it systematic manner so again like a lot of these observations are um, considering my observation from uh, the testing community and testers in india but i am sure this is pretty much the case everywhere so again a lot of testers are still not able to ask proper questions right we we rather than uh, searching the answer on our own or forming a proper question we we end up asking it like like very vague questions we we are not able to explain them properly we, we are not able to convey the, uh, our study before asking the question to the audience so that that is a point as a is very well, right then again as i look around like in company me or a lot of testers considerable chunk of testers the the still continues learn not you know uh, making into that important list for them one one more big problem we have is we, we still do not have enough skill testers hiring is a pain which which i experienced myself and and this is probably our answer this can be our answer in future to a lot of problems we are talking about once we have more and more skill testers a lot of problems and pseudo problems they will try to you know get get to deal with probably then again we are chasing the buzzwords say automation and we, we are not really understanding the very importance the ideal importance they they are having in the testing we are simply chasing them because you know uh, there is some market buzz is getting created something which is troubling me a lot of today startups uh, i'm sure you all must be uh, uh, seeing the same situation a lot of today startups and tomorrow's big companies they value testing to the extent they should be due to various reasons obviously the business importance and everything but 
as of now that is the state right so that is something which is very worrisome and a lot of senior leadership in testing teams seems to be in their comfort zone right due, due to any reason i'm not sure about that but you know a, a lot of test managers test leads they, they are in the, into their comfort zone and because they are not stepping out they are not you know doing a lot of things out, outside their box because they are not learning whom their team will look up to right that, that is the big problem we have and we will we'll discuss that in uh, you know uh, coming uh, slides few of the pseudo problems again automation is going to, going to replace testing ai and ml is going to replace testing testing manual as they call it is dead and has no future and if you do not learn automation you won't be relevant in future so i i'm calling these as pseudo problems okay and why like we have talked about few of the problems why i think communities and leadership has the best chance to change the things the top most reason i believe is leaders and communities they, they have the access to these very testers we want to change right they have access to all of us like we all report to someone we all admire someone you know and we we all have communities around us like the test drive again like we founded this is uh, this in january but this is not the only thing which we were following even from india right so there are quite a few communities minister of testing something which i'm i'm big fan of you know and i follow their work very closely so these communities are already making impact and both these things together leaders and communities they have access to us all of us and when they say something more often than not it has the value right that they have that uh, authority and they have that power that when they say something it has some value people will listen to it more often than not and that's why it becomes very easy to bring positive change when when you have uh, you know enough power with you in, in any particular way though it be out of respect or you know out of uh, admiration so moving on what is a community but what is a community to you people so very honestly uh, as i said uh, test drive is not my first experience at community building but what i was doing at zykus for years i never realized that as such i'm building community as such i'm building a you know group of people who are together uh, irrespective of their future or present at the current company that's that's how we are building it uh, but yeah if you have to go definition wise this is the definition which i gave at one of the community experts discussion in in a community of community managers you can say uh, so there is a community uh, called community fox in india so it's a group of community managers so community to me is a group of people who are on the same journey towards a common goal or common mission or common career objective and they are together irrespective of any differences they may have and they collaborate learn and grow together being together so that's what you know community is to me so there are several definition but this is what it 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 means to me and why communities right what what power it has what what things we can change through communities learn together learn faster right i i gave this example to a lot of people of late i'll again share it uh, let's take an example like i'm learning something for 60 minutes i'm keeping that knowledge with me after 60 minutes it's only me who learned something about that particular subject okay or even if there are 20 testers and 20 testers learning something for 60 minutes individually and they are keeping that knowledge with themselves they are only learning one particular topic okay other way around let's say for 50 minutes all the 20 testers are learning something and 10 minutes remaining 10 minutes they are taking out to share whatever they learned in some form do it be blog do it be podcast do it be one to one discussions anything so what's happening is in same one hour one one clock hour we are able to learn one subject at depth and we got a opportunity to learn 19 other subjects so practically i understand it, it it's not possible and it won't happen that you know uh, 
even if there are a lot there is a lot of content which is shared by people and there are a lot of knowledge which is shared by people we'll access all of that we'll probably select few things we'll work out our priorities and then we'll do it but what matters is creating those opportunities creating those possibilities right once you learn something once you put it out you know to the people who are creating those opportunities and those possibilities that someone somewhere will get benefited from it that's why community is something you know which is working very well for us it's learning together we're learning faster that way moving on when you're together the problem problems look smaller i i'll present a sort of case study as well later in the session about this but when you are together the problems look smaller right like whatever are the problems that thing not being valued or you know uh, the the way uh, the transition is happening a lot of companies looking for sdt several things something which is i'm loving totally loving it increased sense of belonging to the testing craft because this is that exclusiveness right there is there is a community exclusively for testers there is a event exclusively for testers so these things are creating that pride amongst the testers when when i look around right and they are simply loving it like okay there is something which is specifically happening for us we are into uh, you know a, a very special thing we have a own special skill set and that's why we should take pride in it so this this is something which i see with communities this sense of belonging is increased in increasing things awareness towards having a mentor or having your own tribe to guide right so as the learning is taking place you know and uh, shared learning you can say or uh, uh, learning through community people are understanding that it's very important to have you know people to guide you whenever you need when we focus on progressing together as a community we'll certainly leave better legacy right because when when the future testing generations when when they look back okay when they look at us they they definitely feel proud of they'll get motivated they'll try to do similar or rather even better things for the entire testing craft it gives a platform obviously i talked about this before where where you learn and grow together a good community feel courage to express oneself this is again one of the problem i see in a lot of testers at least in india it it creates positive vibes good community shall help us create more and more testing heroes that's what we need right we all will agree on that and again networking it's it's crucial in any profession or even even as a human it is very necessary to network with each other world is a small place and we all are going to need each other you know at some time or not so as i talked about i won't call these as case studies exactly but i will call these as my experiences while you know uh, building the test drive so far so i am not talking about numbers we already talked about that but these are small wins which i am very happy about okay so as you can see like i believe it takes time you know to fuel the passion in people if you want to change them for good it, it's it's never instant that you tell something something uh, somebody something and you know, they're convinced of your opinion or your thoughts you have to constantly keep adding the value back to the society okay and somewhere or later like whenever someone feels okay now this is something which they should be part of they they join you right so this is one example like uh, th th there was this girl in in our community she joined the community online community pretty you know early at at the early stage and uh, registered for quite a few events then she was always following the content online liking the post and all registered for a few events but you know uh, didn't make there and it took four and a half months for us to you know see her at one of our meetups and when she was there when she gathered that courage you know uh, because again this social quotient is not same with everyone so it, it, it's not easy for everyone to do that so once once she managed to come to the meet up from that time all the meet ups happening in the city she is part of she is one of the core you know uh, community member correct 
So without the things work, we have to keep adding the value and leave it to the world, you know, to decide. The other win, small win I like to talk about is something which was troubling me a lot that, you know, senior testing professionals are, a lot of senior testing professionals are not getting together to create value, help each other, and, you know, you want, you, you want to help the juniors. So what we saw in last three months, so I was just analyzing the data, the registration data, which we had in last three months, compared to the earlier six months, when we started the test drive, the percentage of, you know, senior members, like the members having about eight years of testing experience has almost doubled in the recent months. And that's a huge win personally for me, because this aspect of today's talk, which is leadership, this is how the change will happen, right? When leaders are part of the mainstream, when they understand their responsibilities, we should be able to make the change much faster, right? Another example I like to take is, you know, as I said, the social part is not same with everyone. Not everyone is extrovert enough to face public very rapidly. They either take part in the public meetings or, you know, interact with the community and so on. So I had this one example, you know, and I am sharing this for a reason that this guy pinged me over Facebook Messenger a few months back. What he said is I'm a bit hesitant towards attending a meetup, though I want to learn a lot. And I'm hesitant because I do not have knowledge on automation. Can okay, I believe that? Like there, there are such thoughts, you know, uh, in, in, in the minds of these testers. And no one is telling that that you have a particular skill to be, you know, a good tester or to participate in something. You just need to be a human, first of all, and as, as a human, you can collaborate with each other, right? So we had this conversation for around 30 minutes, and I'm happy for that, you know, uh, that, that I instead the time. And since then, once, once I, you know, explained the concept of community to him, Again, another example where even after months, this person is always part of our events, you know, always following the community very closely, rapidly learning, constantly in touch with me personally. So something which, you know, I, I liked a lot. Another example. This is one of the big problem which is happening currently for a lot of people and in future, as we see, you know, uh, the market, the way market has started demanding different, different skill set, employment is going to be an issue for sure in a lot of markets and in a lot of countries. So this ABC tester, he contacted me over uh, Facebook Messenger a few weeks back and he explained the situation. He uh, first asked me for a job and for him anywhere. At the current situation which he's going through right so I, I just want to give share you all uh, share with you all the seriousness which we, which we have about this uh, situations right the people are jobless the that's fine to uh, extend that you know they're learning and they're trying but the disturbing factor here is when they say they do not have anything to guide anyone to guide them. They have the problems, they're passing, you know, each day uh, in, in uh, very adverse situations or with a lot of difficulties. And when they say they do not have people to guide them, you know, that, that's something which disturbs me a lot as a person. But there are so many of us who can you know, do our bit to get back to these people. And even I am a bit upset about myself that, you know, why I started this initiative so late in my career. I could have changed so much more. So when what I did is, you know, I talked to this guy and I haven't really offered him a job or something. What I did is I simply gave a few minutes from my day and I helped him realize okay, you need to try, you need to work hard or practice more and form some courage. Okay. Uh, keep fighting. And it's a win for me when, when he thanked me and when he promised that, that okay, he'll come to fight. He just needs some guidance here and there. And one day he'll do something good and he'll post it back into our community group. So that was a good relief uh, for me personally, that I'm at least helping someone to, you know, get motivated. Again, another interesting case. 
So this case is of Gaur, one of our community uh, member. So he's an engineering student, uh, last final year engineering student. He's a bug bounty hunter as well. And uh, he participated in quite a few events like hackathons and all. One day he pinged and asked me whether he present something at the test drive meetup. And obviously we, we looked at the yes, why not what, what to do right in the long run. Meetup day, he starts his presentation. He was a bit, bit nervous. He talked to me before that. But believe me, once he settled down and once he delivered his entire session on OWASP top 10 vulnerabilities along with the demo of each of the vulnerability. It was so far from the sessions, various sessions which I have uh, attended on that particular topic. It was the most simplest and most thorough which I have experienced personally. He was to the point, he was explaining everything. He had a cheat sheet ready. He, in the session, he gave enough to read through. So that's something, you know, because someone is creating a platform, people like Goro are, you know, stepping up. And I'm not saying this is opening with the test drive. A lot of people are helping in that direction. And we need, more, you know, more and more such uh, initiatives, uh, in, in the outside, outside our organizations and within our organizations as well. So we'll talk to about that as well. Yeah. So I'm not able to, uh, I'm not sure if you are able to see, uh, you know, uh, the picture perfectly, but he's the uh, Rukia, the one, the guy setting at, at the center of the pic. And yeah, you can see Ajay. So Ajay uh, did a talk yesterday, I believe. So I'm sharing this with his permission, obviously. So Arokya is, is very special and I'm personally very fond of him. So he's special, he's uh, specially abled, I'll say. And his little limitation to move is not stopping him from learning, right? He's attending all the testing events which are happening in Bangalore, not only from the test drive, but from all other communities and everyone who is giving it back. Uh, to the society. So Ajay, I believe is, you know, personally monitoring and uh, met him, but he, he's an inspirational example. He's, he's a superb guy altogether. So irrespective of any limitations or, you know, any difficulties, he's making sure that he's learning a lot of things. He's, uh, you know, uh, giving it back through the NGO to society and he's helping more and more people to grow professionally. And other day when uh, we were chatting and then he said, like I, I explicitly mentioned in the slide, there are no limitations. I'm flying in the bros, uh, I'm flying the sky bro. So that, that's a big deal, right? Like when, when people are able to, you know, defeat all the barriers which, which they may have, because those are mental blocks, which you can say, and they are progressing so fast, so rapidly. So whenever I, you know, remember his case, I keep asking myself, what's your excuse? to not do something. So he's a very special case and always will be. Okay. So now we talked about communities, but what about leadership, right? How, how we can change things through that. We touched it a bit, but let's further explore it. So this is something which Bill Gates said on the leadership part. What I would like to ask ourselves is, are we doing enough as leaders? Why I'm saying that is, if we ask ourselves as test managers or as test leaders or you know anyone in, in the senior position as a tester, what are the problems which we previously saw and I'm purposely keeping the slide again. Any problems or what problems from this list or any list, it was absolutely impossible for us not to learn things on our own, get knowledge, gather it and present it back to our juniors for whom we are responsible to grow them, you know, uh, to uh, uh, like from professional aspect as well and from the community aspect as well. If you want to change the state of testing, it won't happen unless we change the testers and you know, their mindset. So unless, you know, like I think the second last point is the only point which is not in our control to pull up agenda. Otherwise, what are the things which as leaders we, you know, uh, 
it, it was impossible for us to do to learn and to present it back to the people who are responsible for it. problems pseudo problems everywhere like there is so many so much of a confusion around ai ml what is going to happen to, to the testing and you know whether whether the testing has the future or not i really confused like what will happen in the future a lot of people you know ping me and uh, uh, like the end got to a different kind of role from from testing and when we dig deep into the reason like what is the reason why they are thinking like that somewhere this fear is coming up which is a concern obviously so that's where i think leaders has a lot of things to do we all have that responsibility on us i believe you can convert your team into a mini community if you take efforts in the right direction what is the difference in team and community you will say i believe you can call your team a community when you are thinking about each other's future beyond the organizational goals beyond what roles and responsibilities you have to play there you are so much you know uh, together you have that special bond with each other you care about each other and each other's together like collective future that your response like you are talking about each other's interest each other's hobbies and you are also you know helping each other to grow on the fronts where where we want to grow so you got to keep learning as a leader right when you learn when you work on yourself that's when you will get that confidence that you can go back to your team and you can tell them some so this is very difficult to get uh, it to help or it can be a one to one help so one to one thing again i will say because that's what we did at team cycle score for years we focused on each and every individual's interest their personal interest area their hobby and where they want to go but i'm saying we have done a lot of special things which we are proud of we we created a lot of good test Get out. My hair is back. We lost the screen. see me yeah we hear you now yeah uh so as i talked about this as well before uh like technically the test drive is not the first community experience which i am having i knowingly or unknowingly i practiced it a lot before that as well and i'm giving you all the honest opinion that i personally loved it a lot my team i believe loved it a lot and the community members which are part of the test trap now we all find this as a very special initiative and it is not of you know one particular person or one particular group we we all belong to it and we all feel like okay it is our own thing and that's where i believe the same same feeling we need to create uh, and pass it on to more and more people publicly in the form of public communities 
and within our organizations as well like whatever team we are having five people 10 people 15 people we need to get them put together and we need to grow those testers as tomorrow's leaders so that's where uh, i believe we can make a difference so much my uh, uh, leadership and communities and the overall impact any questions which you guys have you can post it in the slack channel and i'm there to answer those wish all good luck and we should you know definitely interact sometime in journey while while we are making that and, and yeah together we come together thank you all and you can follow me on these social handles thank thanks test masters for the opportunity thank you anna i really loved it like this was my first experience talking at a conference and that too at, at, at a conference where you know like it's kind of web format so i'm not able to see the audience so it was something which was very interesting thanks a lot and hope i was able to help you guys probably with a lot of serious content but that's what i i, I really wanted to uh, empathize on thank you very much mahesh um, I'm going to move us to the Slack. It was a very insightful presentation and I appreciate your time and effort in building it because we all need to share your experiences. Thank you so much. I'm going to stop the recording and I'm going to move everyone back to Slack.